Mark Twain, Samuel Longhorn Clemens, far better known as Mark Twain, was an American writer, businessman, publisher, and lecturer. Mark Twain is one of the greatest of American novelists and his masterpiece, Huckleberry Finn, is a great world book. In his own times, he was a controversial figure and was severely criticized by a number of critics. His three great novels, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Life on the Mississippi, and Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, are really parts of one masterwork. Twain, the frontier humorist, was essentially an improviser. At the outset, his art was oral and not written, a literature without letters, and it never wholly lost the qualities of its origin. Mark Twain's work, in Mark Twain's work, American humor comes to its own. His work expresses the characteristic American humor at its best. Like many humorists, in fact, Tom, uh, Mark Twain was profoundly pessimistic and his gloom increased as he grew older. Uh, to speak about his works, Huckleberry Finn can be read and interpreted on several levels. Both characters and incidents are symbolic and its action admits of an allegorical interpretation. He was one of the frontier writers regional uh, writers. Eugene O'Neill. O'Neill is the only American playwright to have won the Nobel Prize for Literature and the only dramatist to have won four Pulitzer Prizes. O'Neill established himself as one of the all-time best playwrights and dramatist. He also set standards for a later American drama. He brought into it a strength and a vitality which is uh, lacked. He used a native material but gave it a universal appeal. For his techniques and a deep insight into human soul, he will always be remembered as one of the foremost 20th century, century playwrights. Uh, there are a lot of uh, tragic frustrations of American life that we see in his writings. We see a lot of symbolism and myths are employed in his plays. We also see uh, romantic and poetic elements uh, as well as influence of Greek drama, the problem of fate and religion, influence of Ibsen and Stringberg are all visible in his writings. His stage experience helped him in techniques of playwriting. Merging of uh, naturalistic and symbolic technique also is, uh, is visible in his writing. Arthur Miller is considered one of the greatest American playwrights of the 20th century. Depression in America influenced his life deeply and he learned playwriting. His works, Project Crisis and Problems of Modern Industrialized American Life. His best known plays include All My Sons, The Crucible and the Pulitzer Prize winning Death of a Salesman. One fun fact about him is he was married to the Hollywood actress Merlin Munro. Now, um, Arthur Miller depicted problems of modern life in his plays. He, was, uh, he criticized false values of modern life and uh, his problem plays are usually tragic plays. Sympathy for the helpless victims of society can be seen and we also see the influence of Ibsen in, on, uh, in his writing. Toni Morrison Toni Morrison's novels are known for their vivid dialogue, their detailed characters and epic themes. Her most famous novel is the 1987 novel Beloved. She was awarded both Pulitzer Prize and American Book Award in 1988 for Beloved and the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1993. 
Emily Elizabeth Dickinson, American poetess, her life was uneventful and recluse. Her speculative nature was due to her recluse life. She was an ardent letter writer. She spoke of her poetry in an open letter to the world. Only five poems were published during her lifetime. But fortunately, we have her 1,775 lyrics. Her books, uh, her works uh, consist of selected poems of Emily Dickinson, collected lyrics and poems. Some of her most famous um, poems are Because I Could Not Stop for Death, Hope is the Thing with Feathers. Uh, her poetry is certainly rich with meaning and beauty. What makes her poetry appealing is her style and speculative thought. Reflections on life and death make her almost a spiritual saintly artist. We see a lot of speculations about life and death in her, and witty irony in her uh, poems. She has a gift for aphorism. We see a, a relentless self-scrutiny in her poems. We also see a lot of free variation of rhyme and idiosyncratic use of language. It is sentimentality and archness and uh, affection of naivety sometimes we feel. Sylvia Plot was an American novelist and poet, best known for her novel The Bell Jar and for her poetry collections The Colossal and Ariel. Plot met and married British poet Ted Hughes, although the two later split, the depression plot, uh, depressive plot committed suicide in 1963, garnering accolades after her death for the novel The Bell Jar and the poetry collections The Colossus and Ariel. In 18, uh, 1982, Plot became the first Plot became the first person to win a posthumous Pulitzer Prize. She also used the pseudonym Victoria Lucas, Robert Frost an American poet and winner of four Pulitzer Prizes. Robert Frost depicted realistic New England life through language and situations familiar to the common man. Frost has won worldwide fame and recognition and has already established himself as a classic. The first thing which strikes the eye is the extreme sim simplicity of his poetry. He writes on the simplest themes and he says what he has to say in the most easy and simple manner. It is this simplicity of Frost which has endeared him to ordinary readers. Frost is a great pastoral poet. He writes of rural people, occupations, events and situations. Frost is also a great nature poet. He writes of the natural scenes and sights, flora and fauna, hills and dales of the region. Frost says what he has to say in the fewest possible words and the result is classic terseness and concentration. His road not taken and uh, birches, mending wall, uh, these are some of uh, his most famous works.